Guys in Development Cooperation. I'm sure you all heard about um, the, the virus issues and everybody will be going online from now on much more. I think this issue is not really taking off. I think we will see a short time where people will stay at home, they will use the technology more and right after that they will jump back into their airplanes and go for meetings just like they did before. If they don't or if the particular organizations that we work in are not considering what is actually hindering us to have more online interaction. And I think the main roadblock is the lack of engagement of your participants online. You run webinars and you know, regular webinars and or uh, regular seminars are already a problem if your input giver talks too long, it doesn't really reflect what the people want, you know, who's actually in the audience. And the moderator sort of just ram rambles off what he had prepared and it doesn't really go into the interaction what's going on. If you take that whole thing now online, you know, it's so easy for people to just sort of go out the, the meeting, you know, they didn't fly there, all that. So it's basically the same issue like you had before, just things are worse when you're online. So let's consider how could you crank up the level of engagement, especially online in webinars. Let, let me give you some thoughts. First of all, make sure that when you invite people to join, that you really invite them to ask questions up front, to give some input up front. What do you want our input giver, our main guy, to focus on? And, and don't just make it a small, small print thing, you know, uh, questions up front are requested or highly whatever, you know, just really make sure that in part of your write-up that you, that you say, the whole webinar is not really set. We're not gonna talk about this, 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 this and that. But we're gonna be talking about this and the main issues we will see in the three weeks to come from your questions, what you want to talk about. So obviously you will have to give it some time and people are not used to this. That's what I'm say why I'm saying you need to train participants. So within your organization, most people are also participants. You need to train them and encourage them, obviously, to be active participants and request also this sort of uh, openness to engagement. Otherwise, you know, so don't just sort of not come to the event. Don't just sort of not click yes. Say, I would like to come, but I really would like your webinar to focus on this and this issue. Otherwise, it's not going to be relevant for me. Yeah, so you, you, it's going to be a waste of time. And this is the main killer, obviously, because people need to, to be able to justify the time they spend in these meetings online or when traveling. It doesn't really make any, dif make any difference. So this is the main point. Engagement prior. You know, request. Obviously, cut the time short, make it only 10 minute input, then ask for questions. So you make sure that when, you, when you're an organizer that you know who asked the question, you ask them, uh, do you want to come on with camera maybe? You know, obviously you prepare that and you ask people to, to uh, upfront if they want to do that, or you do it with a chat box and you ask them, is the question now really um, answered? This sort of thing. And, Make sure when your when your input giver is preparing the, the the speech that they don't sort of just rely on 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 giving the same uh, presentation that they have prepared long time before. So you need to sort of shake them and make sure hey, we are only going to do this webinar if you are willing to accept the the sort of prior questioning if you if you're only stuck in the way you want to give your presentation because that's the way you, you you learned it because in university that's the way it was done then you say well then we might want to consider doing it with somebody else because we want somebody who is flexible already even even a week before the webinar to change uh, some things around um, we don't want you know scientific truth cast an iron, we want you to res res be um, responding to 
um, request maybe two days before, you know, make sure that you have a slide ready or a couple of words for Mr. X and Madame Y on what they wanted you to talk about. That's engagement. And that is something that can be actually be done much better online. And that's the main stumbling block, the level of engagement of regular participants. That's something that we need to look into.